Ever wondered why pouring tea from a height is considered an art form in China? Picture this, a bustling tea house, where an elaborate tea ceremony unfolds. The tea master pours tea from a great height, not merely for show, but to enhance its flavor. The higher the pour, the better the taste. Now imagine a family gathered around a table, savoring a variety of dim sum. Suddenly, the rhythmic tapping of chopsticks on empty bamboo steamers fills the room. It's not just about eating, it's about creating music while enjoying the meal. How about a noodle slurping competition? In China, slurping isn't impolite, it's a technique. Participants are scored on their slurping style, the volume of their slurps and their technique. It's a culinary sport. Ever dined with an opera mask on? In Beijing, the act of eating Peking duck transforms into a theatrical performance, with diners donning opera masks to enhance the dining experience. Now let's talk about durian, also known as the king of fruits. It's a fruit that splits opinion with its potent aroma. But for those who love it, there's nothing quite like its unique flavor. Mooncakes are a staple during the mid-autumn festival, but there's a twist. Each mooncake comes with a surprise filling. It's a game of edible roulette, as each bite may reveal a new, unexpected flavor. The hot pot is a social event in itself. A simmering pot of broth sits at the center of the table, filled with unusual ingredients like quail eggs, sea cucumber, and pig brain. Each ingredient adds to the adventure of the meal. Finally, there's the fusion cuisine, where traditional Chinese dishes get a modern twist. It's a celebration of change, a symphony of old and new flavors creating a culinary masterpiece. So, there we have it. A journey through China's quirky culinary customs. From tea ceremonies to noodle slurping competitions, from theatrical dining experiences to culinary games, the Chinese food scene is rich with tradition, diversity, and a dash of eccentricity. It's not just about the food, it's about the experience, the tradition, the stories that unfold around the dining table. It's a testament to the Chinese saying, eating is a social affair.